Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to create this very simple makeup look using all new products. All the products that I'm going to use in this video I've never used before. It's going to be like a first impression kind of a video. Before we get into this video, please make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it already. If you did, thank you so much. And make sure you click on that ring bell button. Now if you'd like to see some new products and how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. I'd like to do something simple, fast. I have an event in one hour, so let's just see if I can make it to film this video, to take pictures in one hour. My husband is watching me like... I want to start with concealer because I don't know if I'm going to put foundation all over my face, so I'm going to start by applying this Jouer. This is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's the very first time I'm trying this. This is too light. Let's see if it's if I can make it work. However, it's extremely matte. Jesus. So I'm not gonna take this off because I've already put skincare and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead using something a little bit darker. Thank God I didn't apply too much. This is macaron. I'm using an IT Cosmetics brush, very high coverage, you need the tiniest bit of a product. Same concealer, what's left on my brush, I'm just going to do a quick swipe all over my eyelids. I'm looking into my magnifying mirror right now to see how this foundation looks like very very close. But just so you guys know, I've literally spread it and stretched it like all over with just a little bit of product. I know that I said I'm only going to use new products, but I feel like I need some foundation. And since I don't have any new foundation right now, I'm going to go ahead and use my NARS Sheer Glow with the same brush. color that I'm using is... Strong Bali mixed with Fiji. So after I apply it with the brush, I like to spread it with my fingers like so. This way I know that's going to be like super nice and natural. The skin is kind of matte, a little bit too matte for my taste. Let's set everything with a tiny bit of powder. Too Faced Born This Way. I'll take the powder with the B021 brush from Hakuhoto. I go ahead and set the under eyes Ooh, this is mattifying next I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty bronzing powder I think this might be too dark for me I don't know let's see I'm going to apply with this MAC 137 brush I'm taking just a little bit of powder because I'm afraid it might be too dark for me I don't know what to say about this color Actually, I like it for real, but I look in the monitor and it looks kind of weird, kind of yellow. I really like the consistency. It's not the kind of powder that will be patchy. It's completely matte. I will use this palette from Jouer. This is a limited edition blush palette. I'm going to use this color right here. I'll apply it with this Misa M006 brush. I got closer and I don't know if you guys can tell but I have changed my camera it's a new camera I'm not sure yet about the settings but everything looks so much darker like my eyebrows I'm still using the same product I can't live without the clear brow gel from Anastasia it's my absolute must product for eyebrows I feel like eyebrows that go down like this they're just very sad I went to United States I just got back a few days ago actually and I bought myself some very pretty eyeshadows from Surat Beauty. The first color that I'm going to use is Doré Rosé, which actually means golden rose. This is a 234 brush from Zoeva. And I'm applying this eyeshadow all the way up to my brow bone. The reason why I do that is because my eyes being so deep set 
when you apply a lighter color all over your eyelids it's going to bring them a little bit more forward next I'm going to take this matte eyeshadow right here this is from the Jouer palette it's called rose gold matte and shimmer eyeshadow palette then with the same brush I apply that lighter pink on the brow bone and also in the inner corner right here then I'm gonna take this color right here this is more like a taupey brown and I'll apply it right at the outer corner now the eye has that elongated shape that I love I've got a new mascara and this is Go Big or Go Home from Kat Von D. I can tell you from the very beginning, I love the brush. I mean, it's pretty, but I need to like wear it for a little bit to see if it's going to fall, if it smudges. Because so far I like it. I'm not sure if I love it. Now for the lips. I plan to use this Too Faced. This is Homecoming Queen. A bright pink. The highlighter that I'm going to use is this one in Rose Quartz from Jouer. When I first saw this, I was like, mm, whatever, highlighter. I was wrong. This is so beautiful. It looks very pink in the packaging, but then check this out. Anastasia Beverly Hills, A23 brush. All right, guys, this is the final look. A whole makeup done with new products for me, except for foundation. The concealer that I was using, like I said, super high coverage. I don't know if it creases or not because I didn't really give it that much time. It's been almost an hour since I've started filming this, so I'm going to have to give it more tries in order to give you a proper review. And then the same thing for the powder. It's super mattifying. The very first time I'm trying it, I could say that it's more mattifying than the Laura Mercier. I was a little disappointed by the Surat Beauty eyeshadows, but then I loved the eyeshadow palette from Jouer. This lipstick from Too Faced feels extremely good on the lips. It's matte but you know comfortable. I'm pleasantly surprised about this product. Highlighter, if you're the kind of person who likes the bling bling kind of uh, highlighter you would love this. I have mixed thoughts about the Go Big and Go Home mascara from Kat Von D. I don't think it's going to be my favorite. The Fenty Beauty bronzer, I'm not sure about the color, but I do love the formula. It's matte, it's super easy to apply, it does not look patchy. Sometimes bronzing powders, especially if they're matte, can be very patchy on the skin, especially when you're when you don't have like a perfect face, you know, like I'm just a normal person, I'm not a model. I've got a lot of new products that I'm going to try, but I thought I should do like a whole video with new products. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it already. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on my Insta stories. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Why are you looking at me like that? How I've created... <laughs> Would you still love me if I was like this? If my face was like this? You have some stains on your shirt. You still love me with stains on my shirt? Wow. That's definitely quite something.